Hi everybody, it's me and welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I post Monday, um, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, but this week I only I will be posting Monday through Thursday It's because I am off on Wednesday. So today in this video I'm going to be talking about my top 10 Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick Colors. I love Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick. It's one of my favorite yarns. It's great to work with for if you're a beginner knitter because it's really thick and it knits up quickly, quicker than a lot of the thinner yarns, even though I would suggest the thinner yarns if there are, but it's just like the thinner yarns, like the worst weight yarn. Not too thin where it's like hard to see, but thick and thin at the same time if you guys get my point. So I also love this. The reason I love this because it's really fun to work with, with and it knits up pretty quickly and it's pretty chunky and it's chunky but not too chunky so it works out really really well. So I'm gonna get started and if you guys knit or crochet and you work with Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick, what are your favorite colors to work with? Please let me know down in the comments below because I would love to hear. So I'm going to get started. So number one in my list have to be Wild Strawberry. This one is actually discontinued, but I'm going to show you guys a picture of what it looks like. Because like, like they only sell it on Amazon. So Amazon is a great place to get discontinued yarn. Like, and I actually used the Woolies Thicking, the Wild Strawberry Woolies Thicking Quick to make, um, to make, um, a, um, cow. So this is what Wild, one second. So this is what Wild Strawberry looks like, if you can see. So this is Wild Strawberry. It looks kind of purple on the camera, but it actually is kind of like a burgundy pink toned um color there and it's really really nice it's really pretty it's got like tones of pink and burgundy it's a beautiful color and i used it a long time ago to make a cowl if i can find it i used it to make this beautiful seed stitch cowl right here um, I don't know if you can see, but it's got, it's wild strawberry. Sorry, it doesn't really pick up well on my camera. So it looks purple on the camera, but it actually is a wild strawberry. Number two on my list would have to be raspberry. Now I do have a skein of raspberry hiding somewhere. By land brown, and I think it's... And I have no idea where it is right now. I know it's a really pretty color. It's super duper nice. It's like a pinkish tone. So I think I have a picture of me wearing a raspberry snood. So this is what this. So this is what the raspberry color looks like. It looks like pink on the camera. Again, this I'm filming with my webcam and it doesn't have the best of quality. It looks like pink in the camera, but it actually is a dark raspberry pink. I like it. It looks really nice and stuff like that. It's really fun to knit with and it looks like it's just a beautiful color and it turns out really, really well. And then I also made it um, a hat out of this and it's like a messed up raspberry hat. It's way too big. As you can tell, it doesn't even fit my head. Yeah, I also use this color to make a hat, but it's too, but Lion Brand Wooly is thick and quick. I don't really suggest for hats unless you're crocheting them because it's, they work better when you're crocheting hats, but it doesn't really work better if you're knitting hats because it turns out too big and you don't really do your gaze checking. So yeah. Number three, my list have to be kale and I have a skein of kale right here. I have another one that I didn't finish, so this is what it looks like. It's got little um, specks in it, which is really, really nice. It looks black on the camera, but it actually is a dark forest green. 
I'm sorry, my webcam doesn't pick up colors very well, so I apologize. So, I think if I put it in here, you can see better. You kind of can see. It still looks black in the camera, but it actually is a dark green. So, oh, it's really, really nice. I like the little specks. I actually used this to make um, something. I'm not going to say what it is because it's a surprise. Number four, I'm going to have to be grass. I think this right here is grass. Yeah, this is grass. It's like a bright green. This one's kind of, this one's showing up on camera. I don't know. The other ones don't really show up very well on camera. camera. So it's like a bright green. It's really, really nice. Nice. And it's kind of, and it's kind of pretty. Well, it's not a bright green, I would say. It's kind of like a medium to green. It just still looks really, really nice. And it's really fun to work with. Number five on my list would have to be navy. I think I have a navy. This is black. This one's navy. So this is navy blue. This is navy blue. It, this one also looks black on the camera. Sorry, my webcam does not pick up color very well, so I do apologize. Um, so it's a beautiful navy blue. I really, really like it. It's really nice. Nice. It still looks black to me in person, but I think if you look right here, yeah, oh yeah, you kind of can tell it's navy blue when, when you look close up. So it's really beautiful. I actually made a snood out of this too in navy blue, and it's really, really pretty. Number um, six on my list should have to be black. So I have a skein of black right here. This, now this one kind of looked blue on the camera, but it actually is black. Black, so um, this is also... This is black. <laughs> I don't know. These two, this one is navy blue, but this one looks black on the camera. And this one is black, but it looks navy blue on the camera. I don't know. It's kind of weird. So I like black because it turns out really, really nice and stuff like that. I know a lot of people love black. Like half the people who order things from me always go, I want black. I want black. I want black. Black. They always order black from me. I guess it's just a lot of people just like black, uh, black in general. I don't know, it's just like a popular color for the people. So I like black, working with black because it's fun. I usually sometimes don't like working with it at the same time because it's hard to see my stitches because it's so dark. But at the same time, it's pretty fun to knit with because like it go, comes out with beautiful patterns. Number um, seven of my list would have to be lollipop. And I think I have a lollipop color around here somewhere. I don't know where I, oh, it's right over here. So this one is lollipop right here. It looks kind of like light per like a dark purple on the camera, but it actually is kind of like a magenta purple. I don't know. It's just weird. Weird. The camera picks up weird tones. So it's a really pretty um kind of like medium purple, which I really like, even though it looks dark purple on the camera it's just a really pretty medium purple purple and i love how it looks and it makes some really beautiful snoods and i also have another skein right here because i bought two because sometimes for me when i knit snoods it takes about two skeins number um eight of my list would have to be peacock now this one's pretty i haven't even used this one yet This one's showing up blue. This one to me is showing up blue on the camera, but it actually kind of is a bluish green. So it's like a, a really pretty kind of like sea bluish green. I really like it. It's really beautiful. I haven't even used it yet. Yeah, and I've had this one packed for months. Whoops, my other skein just fell. So um, I really want to um, use this for another snood, but I don't know when I'm going to make it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll probably make some more snoods when I have a chance. Chance, and then I'll use this one. Number um, nine on my list should have to be fern. So this one is fern, and I also have another fern right here. Here, here. This one um, hasn't really been used up yet. Yet I used it a long time ago to make a snood. So this is fern. Yeah, we have fern right here. You know, this 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 is interesting. This color is showing up its normal color pretty much. I think it's just because. 
the lighting in my room and then the camera and stuff. It just, the coloring shows up weird. I don't know. I think that's kind of weird. Weird. It's a really nice color. It made a really pretty snood. This one looks forest green on the camera, but it actually kind of is a medium green. And um, it's really pretty. I love how it looks. And it's made a really beautiful snood color, and it's really nice. Number um, 10 on my list would be Eden. I have a color called Eden in here, and I don't remember what it looks like. Here it is. Isn't this? It's kind of like a mixture of colors. It's really, really nice. If you can see that. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see that one better. I think I need to put it a bit closer to the camera so you guys can see. And I like the different colors. I haven't even used this one yet, but I really am excited to use this. So it looks really beautiful. It's got all these different colors, most colors on it. It's got like some red, blue tone, green tone. It's really, really beautiful. My mom actually picked this color out when we were at Michael's one day. They, and it's really cute, so I'm really excited to actually make a snood out of this. I haven't even used it yet, but I'm super excited. Okay, so those are my top 10 Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick colors. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but except this week I post Monday through Thursday, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!